Jesus Christ is a central and revered figure in the Islamic faith. A fundamental pillar of Islam involves the fundamental belief in all of God's prophets and messengers that he has sent down to relay his message to mankind. The message being that there is no deity that is worthy of worship and veneration except God and his commandments must be followed. Anyone who fails to believe in any of God's messengers or prophets is considered a disbeliever in Islam. Muslims hold all prophets of God in high esteem, including Jesus, peace be upon him. Muslims love and admire Jesus and will not speak the name of Jesus or Isa in Arabic without respectfully adding the words, peace be upon him, following the reference. Aside from Christianity, Islam is the only other religion that requires followers to believe in Jesus Christ. God's last and final prophet, Muhammad, narrated, He who bears witness that there is no true God except Allah alone, having no partners with him, that Muhammad is a slave and messenger, and that Isa, Jesus, is a slave and messenger, and he, Isa, is his word which he communicated to Mary, and his spirit which he sent to her. That Jannah, or paradise, is true, and hell is true. Allah will make him enter Jannah, accepting whatever deeds he accomplished. Jesus Christ is mentioned more than 25 times in the Holy Quran. The mother of Jesus is Mary, Maryam in Arabic. She was a pious and righteous woman. According to the Quran, she is the holiest and greatest of all women that ever lived. Mary has the great honor to be the only female mentioned by name in the Holy Quran, and even has a whole chapter named after her. And mentioned when the angel said, O oh Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above all women of the world. Quran 342 The word Messiah is the title of Jesus. The word Messiah comes from the Arabic and Hebrew word Mesaha, which means to rub, to massage, to anoint. In religious context, the word translates to mean the one that has been anointed. It was common at the time to appoint or anoint a king or judge of Israel on the head with oil when taking office as a sign of inauguration. Additionally, in the law of the previous nations, they would rub a person's head with special water when they converted to their religion. This practice lives on today in the form of the Baptist ritual. Prophet Jesus was anointed as the next prophet by his cousin, John the Baptist, the preceding prophet. Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is called by four noble titles, the Messiah, the Messenger of Allah, a word from Allah, and a spirit from Allah. Muslims' belief and understanding of Prophet Jesus stands in accordance with God's final book, the Holy Quran, and narrations of God's last prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Jesus Christ was a mere prophet of God, whose mission was to confirm the Torah, which was revealed before him. He did not come bearing a new law, but only abrogated some laws to make life easier for the children of Israel, the nation that lived before us. Jesus was sent to teach the same general message which was taught by all the previous prophets of God, that we must worship and follow the one God and shun every false God. God created Jesus Christ without a human father, just as prophet Adam was born without either a human father or mother. Allah just said be and it was. Declining to call Jesus the Son of God is not done to belittle or insult Jesus, rather it is done to glorify and magnify God. Allah is the one and only, and He is far above having a child or a partner in His divinity. One should realize that Jesus never claimed to be Son of God, let alone God Himself. And Jesus Christ was a mere prophet of God, whose mission was to confirm the Torah, which was revealed before Him. He did not come bearing a new law, but only abrogated some laws to make life easier for the children of Israel, the nation that lived before us. Jesus was sent to teach the same general message which was taught by all the previous prophets of God, that we must worship and follow the one God and shun every false God. God created Jesus Christ without a human father, just as prophet Adam was born without either a human father or mother. Allah just said be and it was. Declining to call Jesus the Son of God is not done to belittle or insult Jesus, rather it is done to glorify and magnify God. Allah is the one and only, and He is far above having a child or a partner in His divinity. One should realize that Jesus never claimed to be Son of God, let alone God Himself. Through a careful study of the Bible, one would come to the conclusion that Jesus never called Himself God or God's Son. Nowhere does it state in the Bible that Jesus proclaimed Himself as God. Rather, others made the proclamation after Jesus' departure. Jesus, peace be upon him, only preached the teachings he received from God the Almighty, 
Prophet Jesus was only a servant and a slave of God. He is not the Son of God in the sense that he was a begotten Son of God. Rather, he is metaphorically speaking the Son of God in the sense that all righteous people are all sons of God. Yet this title is not to be taken literally as many Christians have done in error. There are many individuals labeled sons of God in the Bible, including Prophet Jacob, Solomon, and Adam, as this was a common saying amongst the children of Israel. As Jesus Christ grew into adulthood, he began to travel and preach God's message throughout the land of Palestine to the children of Israel. He taught the scripture that God sent to him, known as the Injil, which translates to mean good news or gospel, confirming the truth of previous holy books of God. And I have come confirming that was before me of the Torah, and to make lawful for you some of what was forbidden to you. And I have come to you a sign from your Lord. So fear Allah and obey me. Quran 3.50 To reinforce his message, God granted Prophet Jesus the ability to perform miracles, such as fashioning birds from clay, then blowing into them, turning them to birds, healing the leopards, the blind, and even resurrecting the dead, all by the will and power of God the Almighty. Never did Jesus Christ take credit for performing the miracles by himself, without the power of God. According to the Bible, many verses indicate that Jesus never took credit nor stated that he could perform miracles on his own. All power is given unto me in heaven and earth, Matthew 28, 18. I can of mine own self do nothing, John 5:30. I with the finger of God cast out devils, Luke 11:20. Prophet Jesus preached and stressed that no deity is worthy of worship except the one true God, and only through him, the one true God, Allah, which is the unique name of God, can obtain salvation in the hereafter. Prophet Jesus attracted an inner circle of devoted followers who listened to his teachings with humility, a circle known as the disciples. Jesus Christ preached the same general message as the messengers and the prophets before him. According to the Bible, one of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating, noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer. He asked them, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our Lord, the Lord is one. Mark 12, 28-29 Never did Prophet Jesus nor any other prophet preach that God is part of the Trinity. Because the children of Israel at the time had gone astray from the straight path of God, Allah sent them their final prophet, Jesus Christ, to remind them that this is their last chance to fulfill God's commandments. When Jesus Christ continued to preach God's message, commanding them to do certain things and to avoid certain things, instead of believing Him and following Him, they got frustrated by Him, turning their backs on Him and rejecting Him, plotting against Him. According to the New Testament,